Hello, food lovers. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with Banga soup. Elevate your taste buds with this exquisite Nigerian delight from the Niger Delta states. I will show you tips on how to use bitter leaf so that it's not bitter in the soup. And so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. And here I have some scotch bonnet and onion which I'm going to give a rough blend and keep aside. And here I have some banga extract which I'm going to pour into the bowl and add an equal amount of hot water into this bowl, give it a stir for the extracts to go down under the bowl and leave it to rest for five minutes before I use it. Here yeah, I have very delicious pieces of fresh fish which I'm going to marinate with this seasoning of salt and some Cameroon pepper which I've mixed together. I'm going to pour it all around the fish, rub it into the fish and leave it to marinate for 10 minutes before I use it. Hi guys, I would really love to thank my subscribers. Guys, thank you for your support, your comments, your likes. Mm, thank you so much. And for the new subscribers, you are welcome to this kitchen. Thank you so much guys, I love you. All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. Please check it out. And now to start our delicious banga soup, to a very clean pot, we are going to pour the banga extract into this pot. But be careful not to pour the bottom of this because that is where all the remnants are. So at this point, I left the banga to come up to a boiling point before I started adding my already cleaned stock fish. And To this stockfish, I'm adding my banga sticks. Also, I'm adding banga spice. I'm adding some seasoning to this. And at this point, I'm adding the pepper mix that I gave a rough blend and salt. And I'm going to give this a mix and at this point I will be adding the bitter leaf into this pot but once I add the bitter leaf I'm not going to stir the soup the only thing I'm going to do I will be opening the cover of the pot every once in a while to reduce the bitter taste in the soup. The tip to avoid bitter taste in your soup is to not put even your cooking spoon inside this soup. Cover the pot, let it boil. Once in a while, you open it and from the cover, you taste to know if the bitterness has reduced in the bitter leaf. If the soup is still bitter, just add water to it and allow the bitterness to come to boil out. After all the spices have come together, I'm now going to add the fresh fish to this pot and also I will be adding the dry fish to this. I'm just going to cover it, I'm not going to turn it, I'm not going to put any spoon inside because I'm still avoiding the bitter taste of the bitter leaf in the soup. Since it doesn't take time for fish to cook, we're going to leave this to steam for 10 minutes. And now that I've confirmed that there is no bitter taste in the soup any longer, I'm now going to add some grinded crayfish to this soup. I 
I will also be adding some seasoning to this. And also I'll be adding the banga leaf, brekete leaf to this. I'm now going to give this a very soft touch tone so that the fresh fish does not scatter. After giving this a very soft touch tone, I'm going to cover it and let it steam for like five minutes. You can see that the consistency of the soup is not too watery and it's not too thick. It's just okay. So we're just going to cover the soup and allow it to cook for five minutes. At this point, I'll be removing the banga steak. Hi food lovers, this soup is done and ready to eat. You can eat this with stash a bar or whatever swallow that suits your palate please give this recipe a try and tell me what you think about it in the comment section i hope these tips were very useful to you and i hope this video was very useful to you please share with your friends share with your family like subscribe support your girl support your sister support your babe thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you in the next video cheers